Hey guys, check it out. It's back on day three of the trailer build. Insulation is my level of expertise right now. Got all the foam board up that I started the other day. I wanted to make a quick video to go over a few things that I noticed about this Neo manufacturing trailer. It's a Neo 24 foot, eight foot wide, extra foot put on the ceiling. It's got roof racks on the back. I customized it to the point of where I wanted my windows, where I wanted my doors and everything else. There's a lot of different things that they won't do, but I wanted to make a uh, few notes that like they put this up on top, which is pretty cool because it hides all your wires and stuff. And then you can put these little LED strings up in there. They're pretty nice. It lights up the place. looks really cool. I think it, then I got the shiny ceiling, so it, it does a pretty cool job making it look shiny. Um, the roof racks are the, what do you call them? These damn things. I got the power fan. It's pretty decent. It's all right. The plastic covers that they put on them junk junk the first year i literally the first year the plastic ones that they had turned out like cornflakes and fell apart and it rained in here pissed below oh, the mud or the hill so i went to amazon thanks amazon bought a whole bunch of them put them on there got an extra spare one just in case something else happens a walnut god knows but uh the way the trailer is i noticed after i took off the skin i mean bravo Build wise, all the welds are welded. They're not just tack welded. Like you see some of the steel trailers. Oh my God. But the whole trailer is welded decently. The framing of it's decent. As I was saying in the last video, the sizes between the runs, now 15, 20, 13, 14, 12, and then they bow and they do all kinds of crazy stuff. It was not fun trying to cut the insulation, but it worked. I just took my time and I got it all the way down. So I guess the other thing I had to say was when you do it, when you take it apart, Trust me, go through it while you do it because you don't want to take these fucking panels off again. Getting these screw holes lined up so you don't have extra holes in your studs and then extra holes in the paneling is no fun. I took two off, insulated, put two back on and still wrestled and I mean wrestled. So these little wiring deals, you got these little, I don't know what you call them, little dicky dauber dubers, mashups, uh, crimpers, splicers, I don't know. So anyway... Instead of, because they got to crimp these other, the grounds on too, on a piece of wire, and then put it on the damn thing here. Why don't you just put the ground on the end of this wire, and then tape this wire to the, you know, it's, it's not hard, just put it to the, but no, they got to put that on there to help make sure your ground messes up later in life. And there's a million of them, and they go all the way down. Every time a wire changes, it puts another old crimpy crimp on there. So I've been going through and slowly taking them off and re redoing them and changing out the extra grounds. Like, here's an example. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this ground. Like, it's a mile long. And then, I don't know if you can see it. There's the light. Like, why couldn't you just put that right there with the damn thing? Like, what the hell did you make that light all the way over there with a ground for? Neo Manufacturing, get it together. Good trailer though, I like it. Talk to you guys.